What's up guys, this is Heiss, and today we've got an interesting look at what the air brake system and air compressor on the steam locomotive does as we go around the railroad. I was able to get a super wide view in the cab where you could see what the engineer, in this case my buddy Paul, thank you Paul for letting me film you, you could see what Paul's doing with the automatic brake valve, which is the large brass handle, and the independent brake valve, the small brass handle. And then at the upper right, you can see the duplex gauge that shows our main reservoir and equalizing reservoir pressures. Remember that the automatic brake valve controls what the equalizing reservoir pressure is, and then the brake pipe tries to maintain and match what that pressure is. The brake pipe gauge and brake cylinder gauge is the second duplex gauge that's slightly cut off, but as we run really, really short trains, usually the gauges are pretty much spot on, and thankfully this train didn't have a leak, so you really only need to see the one needle. And watching the brake cylinder gauge with the independent brake is really only so riveting. <laughs> Additionally, we have this view of the air compressor, so we can watch when the air compressor needs to actually pump up and help maintain that main reservoir pressure. I've increased the size of the gauge so we can see what's going on. You can see that Paul's got maybe about a five or six pound set on the train with the automatic as they get through the crossing. As he releases the train, the equalizing goes back up, and you can see that our pressure from the camera angle that the camera's looking at it is about 67 on the gauge, but it's really 70 from where the engineer can see it. <laughs> Additionally, the main reservoir pressure is around 130, but steam-powered governors tend to be a little bit persnickety in terms of exactly what pressure they will supply, so sometimes it'll wander here and there. Gotta love old technology. are getting into the bull, so Paul shuts off and pushes the bar into the corner. And it looks like Paul's just gonna let it coast. Some people will set air, some people can let it coast. Just depends on what your preference is and how fast you're going. You can also see that the air compressor occasionally will just cycle. They're always designed to cycle a little bit based on cold weather to make sure they don't freeze. We can see that Paul's got a good five pounds set or so on the train now. And the air compressor runs a couple times to catch the main reservoir back up as we've used some of the air. Gets after just a little bit more. Now Paul's bringing just a hair of independent brake in, just enough to keep the engine in tender, braking themselves, not enough to bang into the cars. And that tends to use a little bit more air and you can see that the pump immediately starts cycling more.
before the crossing there, Paul started to work a light amount of steam and then released, which is a decent train handling technique. can also see that as Brett fires a little bit, the fire door uses air and the air compressor responds, resupplying the main reservoir. Looks like Paul's running with just about the same technique he did last time. About eight or nine pounds on the train and then just a squeezed little bit of independent brake. Some of the older equipment tends to like to slide if you get a lot of air set up against it because it's very light wooden coaches. So this is a good technique for around the railroad museum. You can also see that the pump's working a lot to get the main res closer to 130 now, particularly as he releases the independent. Brakes get released, pump gets after it a little bit, right away. Paul's given it a little sand through a couple of the problematic spots where 491 tends to like to slip. Also uses a little bit of main reservoir as well. <laughs>
that signal means we're coming to a stop at the station this go around. So this is the last time down the hill. the downhill stop you have to do what's called a split set. Paul just released the train and is now going to slowly gather the cars with the independent as gently as he can. You can see how much he's releasing to make sure it's not too much and have the cars slowly gather up into him as they release their air and come to a stop using just the independent. Very well done Paul. Very smooth stop. You would have seen it had the cars banged him around a bit. But using that much independent brake means the air compressor runs quite a bit to finish it off. Yay. Yay. Thank you for being a hand model.